Welcome back, everybody. And as we celebrate Black History Month today, we highlight a Philadelphia music legend. I recently sat down with Kathy Sledge from Sister Sledge, and we talked about everything from her deep roots in music to how it's still a family business and how the pandemic has helped them to evolve. Friends in school would ask you, like, what did you do this weekend? <laughs> well, I would say I went to the mall, I went to the movies, and I would say I, I was in England. Kathy Sledge was still in grade school in Philadelphia when she and her sisters were gracing album covers and rubbing shoulders with celebrities. I remember clearly just saying, even back then, wow, this is such a blessing to be able to travel the world. We had hit records in other countries. By the time she was 16, their group, Sister Sledge, had become a household name with their ever popular disco anthem. But their legacy in music goes back generations. You really have some musical roots in your blood. First word that comes to mind is privileged. I feel privileged to be to have that in my bloodline. Her mother, Flora, is a performer. Her father, Edwin, a Broadway pioneer. He was, I think, the first African American to break barriers on Broadway as a dancer. And your grandmother was very instrumental in your musical upbringing as well. My grandmother was my best friend. She was my road buddy, and you know, we, she went everywhere with us. Her grandmother, Viola Williams, was a trained opera singer and a protege of civil rights activist Mary McLeod Bethune. It was their grandmother's influence that helped catapult Sister Sledge, becoming game changers themselves. We were the first girl group to ever dance full on and do choreography and have movement. We set the case for the Spice Girls and TLC and the in Vogue's. That passion for creativity now continues with the next generation. Hey, Kristen. Kristen Lightfoot is Kathy's daughter. I say I grew up backstage. She's also part of Kathy's management team, which found themselves having to shift because of the pandemic. I tour with her, and so everything got canceled. So I'm just like, Mom, you have to do something like from here. So they started a show on Instagram Live called Family Room. Hey! You look gorgeous. How are you? Twice a week, thousands of people join them virtually, interacting live from around the world as they talk about everything from life to music to how to stay encouraged. When we first started this, it was fun, you know, and it was something to do. And we were talking to people and just connecting and having a good time. As we get these messages saying that we're actually helping people and like yeah. lifting people up, we're helping them through, or you know, even with mental health right now, it's, it's a major thing. My passion is music, it always has been. But I think it, sometimes it takes a lifetime to learn your purpose. Building a new community and legacy inspired by lyrics that still ring true. And we fly just like birds of a feather. I sang We Are Family when I was 16 years old. But the purpose of what that song means is now coming full circle. And such a great message there. And I think Kathy and Kristen, they look like twins, don't they? They are now in talks to have their own TV show. And by the way, Kathy is a true Philly girl. She grew up in West Philly, graduated from Olney High School and Temple University, and she still lives here in the region. They are such a great mother-daughter duo, Jim, and it was so great speaking with them. Lovely, lovely ladies. What a great story. Thank you, Janelle. Well, here's something you don't see every